We've talked before about your brief run for governor of California. What did you learn about political leadership uh, in well, that uh, campaign? Well, as we got campaign coming on now, I think I, I learned uh, uh, one clear thing. Uh, I mean, it was it was fun. It was a short period of time. You know, we had raised more than uh, Governor Schwarzenegger in money, and so we had a chance, and we saw it. It's not going to work. I mean, because his great, the dynamics of his movie stardom and his wife's background in politics and everything. I was, he was a great candidate, and we ended up supporting him and re refunding all the money, which is a big, big trick in this state. We had to get laws passed and so on. But the thing that I learned... Just to be clear, you refunded all of your campaign contributions. 100%. You know, he some way put $5 on the computer, uh, you know, and it cost us you know, twelve fifty to give him his $5 back, but we got everybody's money back. Um, Why did you do that? You know, the, uh, when people, most of the people I didn't even know when they sent in money f for me to run for office, um, you know, I didn't keep my end of the bargain. Uh, if I, they gave me money, I should run. If I run and stayed in the race to the full thing and lost, uh, and maybe, and, and which I did p put in a, a lot of our own money, um, then that would have been fair. But I said, look, I'm not going to finish this fight because they got no way that I can win, and I don't want, and so then I think it's fair that I should have returned every penny. And uh, we had a family meeting and talked about it, and everybody was in agreement, and so we went to do it. Then they, they stopped us, but anyway, we got it done, and, and we're happy to do that. But what I learned is that uh, uh, don't let handlers uh, tell you what to do and what to say. Uh, you just speak from what you believe. I mean, they'll, if, in the political world, there'll be trick questions, and they'll find some issue that's a hotbed issue. And you know, what do you think about you know when is uh, when, when is it uh, you know whether it's pro-life, pro-choice? You know, they'll find an issue, phrase a question, and the you know, the real answer should be what you think. It shouldn't be what's decide what sounds right. And as soon as you start to try and appeal to everybody with a sound bite that is somehow acceptable or more acceptable to one group because there's more voters than another, I think you're, you're done for.